Hey everybody, and welcome back to the shop. Today I'm going to be working on the GMD 500 disc mower. Uh, we're going to be replacing the inner seal on the lift cylinder. Now I did this repair a few weeks, a couple weeks ago, and I videoed it, but I didn't like how the video turned out, so I never posted it. But come to find out, I had the inner seal in backwards. When I hooked up the hydraulics, it blew out the dust seal. Uh, with the pressure just going right on by the inner seal. So, I ordered a new kit because I knew getting that inner seal out without damaging it is a slim to none chance of that. But we're gonna try it. So anyway, here's the kit. And I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just put this number up here. Right there, that's for the older models, GMD 500. i show you what the new, what the other kit was. The other kit did not have this orange ring in it. This is packaged separately. So I'm thinking this is more of a kit for just different models. The inner seals and all, I believe are the same. Uh, one's a green and one's black or blue. I believe the green is the inner, inner seal. It also has uh, another black, big black seal, and a green seal, and this, and one thing, this seal kit does not come with the felt. So I'm believing that this is for the newer, newer model GMD 500s. I'm thinking that's what this, I believe he ordered me the wrong kit, but I will compare the seal when I get the old seal out. First, we gotta go get the old cell out and I'll show you how to do that. It's pretty simple if you don't remove the cylinder. Now, the first time I went ahead and I removed the whole cylinder, that's turned into a little bit of a job, but you can take the, the cylinder apart without removing the main housing. I'll show you how to do it right after we come. All right, so if you're gonna take the whole cylinder off, you got a couple of roll pins. You got one right here in the top and you got one in between the cylinder and this bottom piece here. It's kind of a pain to get out. You also have four nuts. You're going to loosen the bottom two and remove the top two. Like I said, you can do this without, without removing this main housing here. This is 17 millimeter. These are lock nuts, so you will have to have something to hold the bolts with. We just need to loosen these two. And these were a lot tighter when I first uh, tried to get this off. Of course, this thing was, I, I rebuilt this back 10 years ago, maybe, maybe a little longer. And I'll show you in the pictures here of the dust seal and the inner seal as, it, as I took it apart originally. It has disintegrated, so I really couldn't tell how uh, how to go back with that inner seal. Right, so we're just going to remove these two bolts. And this should just come apart. Right, just slide it forward, get that away. Now on this one, we need to push this part back. And if there's hydraulic fluid in here, you got to release that pressure. Really, I probably should have uh, left that attached. But anyway, you just take your hand and just hit your quick connect and just release that, release that pressure on it. You may have to do it more than once. Yeah, I know, I, got a I made a mess. And a hammer will come in handy, so I just got a wrench and a, a screwdriver. We're going to tap this piece back up in here just a little bit so we can see the locking ring. Ah, come on. There you go. Alright, so. Ah. So that's basically what it is. Just a, a little round locking ring. And now 
We can push it, pull this thing out. It should just come right out. We may have to release it. Oh, man. There wasn't much oil in there. All right, so here's what it looks like. Now, I've already changed this ceiling ring and this ring, and I replaced the felt out of that old kit, thankfully. What we need really is this part right here. Got the oil seal, uh, the, this ain't, this is a dust seal. The oil seal's inside there. So let's take this back in the shop, take it apart, and get that seal out. All right, with it on the table, we just want to get this part here off and leave this on there. You have to be careful when you're putting these uh, felts in. You want to overlap it and a little bit of oil on this. You can see it. Maybe, maybe you can see it's overlapped right here. Uh, when it goes in, it's going to want to tend to pop back out if you ain't careful. So get you a little oil on there and uh, sometimes that helps. All right, so we're going to set this aside for now. The reason I didn't post that other video is I forgot this seal right here in that video. I didn't know I even had it until after I done got it back together. And when I took it apart the other day, I went ahead and replaced both of these. I went replaced this to start with, but went ahead and replaced both of those the other day. So those just that one just slips on. The one in the middle, it's got a split in it, just open it up stick it on it all right so first thing we got to do get this oil seal off you can see the oil seal maybe let me zoom me in here I'm trying a new a new camera mount and uh, it's gonna take me a little bit to get used to it well you can see the, the deformity on this oil seal right here it's blowed out and it's supposed to fit in a little groove in here, so we'll just take a pick. And get that on out of there. I'm hoping, now this other seals have a different color, so I, I don't really want to damage this, and if I can help it, I can also just use a screwdriver. So let me just do that in case I have to reuse it. Let's take a look at the other seals that come in this kit. We'll zoom you back out. And so this is the one that come in the other kit. And I'm thinking, this is a little bit different. This, this may or may not be the right kit. guy I ordered all these parts from I ordered this over the phone but I thought for sure he knew uh, you know what I was talking about because I've ordered so many parts for this thing well, here's the other one. you can see it's blue but it appears to be exactly exactly the same as this one and the inner seal is green and this inner seal is blue but on these inner seals you notice you got a little groove here and I believe that's supposed to go to the oil side so you put pressure on it it makes it tighter and if it's beveled to the oil side then it's just going to blow right on through so let's see if I can tell which side I got this seal I can't tell it looks like it ain't nothing let me give me a light y'all can tell but I can't I definitely got this in backwards 
if you see the little raised part that should go to the side of the oil. This is the air side. This is the oil side. So if we look inside here, I don't know if y'all be able to tell. You can see it's just beveled in there, and that oil is just blowing right on by it. So that was my fault. I know, but I just got in a big old hurry. I'm gonna attempt to get this out without damaging it, but uh, as hard as this thing is to get in, I don't see that happening. We're going to try something different than the last way. Uh, the last time I just kind of heated up and and bent it around. Uh, it can't going to work. And, and manipulated it and got it in there somehow or another. This time I'm going to try some tie wraps. Oh, by the way, this kit cost $110. So this is a $110 mistake right here. What can you do? You can only learn by making mistakes. I we'll just figure it's an education tax. Anytime I have to do something twice. That seal is a pain to get out. Now the other one I just took a just took this scraper and I scraped it out. I'll show you a picture of that. So, about like I figured, it's going to be dang near impossible to get this seal out without damaging it. It's a tight fit in there. So, we're just going to go all heat man on it, I spec. And try to get it out. We've got all day to fool with it. A couple of picks here. Let's see if I can get in here with this. This is usually pretty good about removing o-rings and stuff. I don't know if it'll work with this one or not. Yeah, it will. Boy, I should have got that to start with. That little thing there's the trick. So, back like I said, I put it in here backwards. And of course, I'm pretty sure I cut it. Yeah, I cut it right there. So, unfortunately, not usable. So now, to get this this seal in, we definitely want to make sure that this side is facing down when we go in with it. I'm going to show you a trick. Alright, so two zip ties. Right. I'll figure out where my camera's at here. Alright, well you can see that you're not going to just force this thing in by hand. I mean, it would, it'd be nice if you could, but you're not going to be able to. So what you want to do is you want to bend this thing like this. Get you a zip tie. Get the zip tie going the right way here. Put it around it. Bend it. Just get it as bent as you can. Alright. Just like that. Cut. Let's get the, uh, let's get that cut off here. We'll grab us a pair of snips. Cut that off. Alright, remember, we're going in like this. So the next one, I'm going to zip tie this side. And you may not even really need that side zip tied, to be honest with you. Ah, you bastard. That didn't work. How did that happen? Oh, wait a minute, I can do this. Alright, so now, See if we can fit this little joker down in there. Once we fit it in there, we'll go ahead and cut this first one off. We'll try to get it halfway started. Alright, so it's kind of started. Now I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to cut the bottom one off. 
this one's got some tension on it. So we got to be careful. We got to get this zip tie, tie wrap, zip tie, whatever you want to call it, get it out of there. All right. So now I'm like this. All right. So now it's just a matter of getting it started. Push, push. Use your fingers, don't use a tool because you will damage the seal if you ain't careful. All right. And once you get it going, it should just pop in there once you get it close enough. See what I'm doing, but I'm having to, I'm having to have a look. See here, see where I'm at. Feel of it. It's kind of wanting to twist on me a little bit. I don't want to poke it. So maybe you can see. Inside there, if I can keep it in front of the camera. So I've got it mostly in there. The only thing I see, it looks like this side right here. Turn it over where you can see. See how that looks like it's bent a little bit, so we need to straighten that out. So what I think I can do is just take a screwdriver and run behind that. like it straightened up. So just work it with your fingers. You want it set back and be flush. A good long fingernail helps get that accomplished here. Alright, so now see where the flip but anyway that's what you want and you want it sitting all the way back on the bot back of this seal right here that way when the oil hits it it's actually going to force that lip closer to the shaft the way it was the oil was hitting this beveled part and it was just pushing right on through now Dust, dust ring. 